actually as a photographer and I was trying to like document them. Uh, and they, I showed up to practice and they were like, well, in order to take photos of us, you have to fight. And I was like, okay. So they put me in armor and uh, I never looked back. <laughs> Great. Yeah. All right, and Kirk. Yeah, so I'm Kirk. Um, I've been fighting with the Palmetto Knights for about three years now, and I'm working on getting another group in Orlando, Florida started called Club Sanctum. Um, yeah, traveled to a couple Battle of the Nations and been fighting in as many tournaments as I can feasibly make it to. All right, great. All right, so the first couple questions are going to be super generic, and you'll probably answer a lot of the later questions with this little blurb. But, uh, Kirk, since we're already on screen, um, so what is something that if you could wave a magic wand and change one thing about the sport of the community, what would you change? Yeah, well, I think um, for me it is more of a wider acceptance of the – tournament structure that has been established overseas. I think Bohurt League um, works. It has been proven successful. And right now we seem to be trying to reinvent the wheel repeatedly, which, whereas there may be better ways we might be able to find, I think right now having something successful that links us globally is probably a much better path. All right. Miss Aiden, you're next. Uh, okay. So one of the things that I would really like to change uh, is the referee program or the lack thereof. Uh, I think that there is a really sore need for a good referee program across all of the leagues, honestly. And I'd really like to be able to form a program and get them paid for going to tournaments. And I think that that will help move our sport forward as a whole. All right. So, yeah, marshalling program, that's definitely something – very important. All right. Um, let's see here. Have you guys both read the proposed H and B uh, selection process for mm -hmm. USA? Yes. All right. Um, so I'll go with you guys one at a time. We'll bounce back and forth. Uh, what is something that you did not like that you would change? That is part of that system. Aiden, you're already on screen. Uh, the first thing that I, I really, is it's totally dependent on how someone does on the day. Uh, and I would really like to see a selection process that takes in actual metrics of a fighter. So for instance, maybe throughout the year, we're tracking uh, kills, deaths, suicides, uh, and get some really good metrics in on how a fighter is actually performing and use those for national selection, rather than how someone, or how someone in a team are performing just on one day. Great. And Mr. Kirk. Um, yeah, so I would kind of like to see more of a um, tournament season. Uh, obviously, right now, that's not super feasible for this one coming up. Um, but I think a tournament season where you see how teams actually perform together. Because as anybody who's fought on a, on a team knows, whereas the stats are super helpful in seeing a couple key fighters, um, there are a lot of things that happen on a field that don't necessarily directly result in certain people getting kills, but do result in team victories. So I think a tournament season, the stats are fantastic, and I would love to see cards with all of that stuff too. But I want to see a tournament season where we see where the teams end up, and those are who we send. Um, on the flip side... What is something a part of that, the current system that's been proposed, uh, do you like? Remember, you guys are going to come in. Uh, this is still in proposal. We've been waiting to, you know, finalize the selection process until we have all the board members voted on and picked. So this is something you guys are going to have, you know, to change for your region and represent your region. So uh, now that's why these questions are here. But what is something that part of the proposed region that, you know, you guys like if there is anything part of the new proposed system that you like? Where would you like to start with one of us? I mean, with, <laughs> you're not free, man. Give us a name. Keep, um, keep, keep bouncing back and forth too much. Yeah. So I, um, 
really liked that there was some emphasis on not just showing up to one single national event. Um, one that it, that is also very particular in who can make it at that particular scheduled time. Uh, not everybody made it there for the last IMCF tournament that would have been really good, good choices. Um, and the same thing could easily happen for us if we choose just one thing. You show up here at this one time and that's the end-all be-all. Um, I did like that there were options for more than one event. All right. And Aiden. Yeah, I definitely don't disagree with that. I, I think that more, having more than one event in the selection process is really key to getting a good, well-rounded team. I think another thing that I really, the thing that I really loved the most was getting out of your region. Uh, obviously in Texas, like I can, five hours to me puts me halfway through my state. Uh, but, <laughs> but we do recognize that like we do need to travel as a community and get out there and fight more people uh, and I think that that requirement is super, super good. Great. Um, so the next couple of questions are going to be more, you know, kind of what I've realized by talking to everybody running is that most of us are fairly logical and fairly same page type people. We want what's best for the sport. So we tend to have a lot of the same answers the way you and Kirk have, you know, kind of been fairly similar because those are very logical things. Um, I'm going to ask you guys these next questions from the perspective of a fighter, right? Talk to your constituents, the people that are going to be voting for you. Um, you know, from their point of view, why should a fighter vote for you? What are you going to bring that's unique to the region um, and to representing the board that the fighter is going to really benefit from specifically? Aiden, you're on screen. Okay. Uh so one of the things that I do really, really well is outreach. Uh, when all of the league's walls kind of came down, I kind of came in at the end of like all of the bitterness. And so I don't really have any of those preconceived notions about leagues fighting each other. And I think that I bring a really unique perspective into we should all just work as a community. We're all under one sport even though there's different rule sets and that outreach and that networking, I think is something that I'm really good at and that I, I bring to the, to the region. Okay, great. And Mr. Kirk. Yeah. So as far as something unique that I, I can bring. Um, so obviously this sport isn't something that we are currently getting paid to do. We are all having to work second jobs and well, first jobs, I guess to pay our bills. Um, I have found myself in a job where I have the time off whenever I need to take time off. They don't ask any real questions. I just give them a week or two notice and I'm good. So time commitment is something that I can bring to help. If I need to go somewhere, do something that can happen. And I keep my own personal budgets really, really low so that I have the ability to travel places and go do things. And so it's the fact that I can get out there, do what has to be done, make it to meetings, make it to fighting events, be a presence. All right. So same question. What is unique about you that you offer? But now talk to the current HMB board and talk to us as a business, you know. Where you're gonna be, we're gonna be your teammates, we're gonna be working with you guys. Uh, you guys are gonna be working with us. Uh, should you be elected? So now to the board, what are we interested in? What do you have that's unique that you can bring to the business and the growth of HMB USA? Kurt? Um, yeah, so for me, I don't do anything at the bare minimum levels, right? I think that anything worth doing is worth doing passionately. Anybody who's fought with me, who's fought against me, has seen how I carry that onto the field. And the same thing will be true for anything I do for a job. Um, literally, any job I've ever had could could vouch for that. And I think you guys would see that pretty quickly, too. Right. Aiden? Right on. Uh, so bringing me onto the board is a benefit to you guys because I'm extremely multi-capable. Uh, so I'm not only a photographer, I'm a videographer. I build websites. I do marketing. 
Uh, I do outreach and networking. Uh, and all of those things both tie into each other and are individual prospects of like things that I offer. Uh, and you get that all in one package, which is a pretty sweet deal. All right. Okay, so uh, these are gonna be kind of generic questions. Uh, and once again, you guys have probably already answered some of these. Um, what is your personal desire to be on the board? What are some of your goals that, you know, you're gonna be joining this uh, organization, you're joining the team. Uh, what are some of your goals that you're gonna bring to the table that you wanna fix or work on? Um, and try to relate your answers. Like we all wanna have more events. We all want to fight better events and bigger events. Like those are very, national things what are some things that are specific to your region you know, let's try to focus it on to your constituents the people that are going to vote on you what are you going to bring to the board you know as goals for your region Aiden? Sure. so one of the big reasons why i wanted to be on the board of directors for the region was because we actually have two very disparate groups we have Palmetto over in like Florida and Georgia who are very HMB heavy. And then we have the Texas region and kind of like the ACS members throughout Oklahoma and the Panhandle in Louisiana uh, that have really don't have any experience with HMB. Uh, and I really, really wanted to join the board in order to be a bridge between the two groups because I think that as a region, we can come out and be one of the strongest regions performing nationally if we just work together, if we just come together and really uh, align ourselves and someone needs to be a guide for those coming into HMB and for those who are already in it. And I think that working together, that's why I wanted to be there. Beautiful. And Mr. Kirk. Yeah. So I had some pretty similar goals as you already pointed out. We've, these are pretty, pretty logical things to say. Um, I've been to all sorts of stuff. I've participated cross league before as well. Um, but like I wanted to help with getting some some of these fighting events turned into like things we're already doing run with the rule set to to make them Boohert League because the requirements to get a very basic level Boohert League event is not very high. And it's something that literally every league with the rules with the equipment people we already have can do. Um, and I again, it's part of that getting turn, uh, tournament structure going in the Southeast, um, which I've already been talking to at least four different clubs about. That's, yeah, that's, I, I've kind of figured that's going to be an issue. It's a lot of people have very similar goals. I mean, it's, it's one sport. How do you make the sport better? Well, <laughs> use the answer. Um, we all want to see a drill. <laughs> yeah. And it's not like we're like really trying to get you guys to campaign against other nominees. So, uh, this is kind of tough to be like, what is unique? Um, all right, so this is going to be once again more of a professional um, connection question. So, what are you connected via networking with any corporations or businesses or organizations that can aid to HMB USA and potential fundraising or sponsorship? What what professional affiliates do you personally bring to the table, if any? Kirk. So um, at the moment, I don't currently have any because I haven't had much of an actual actual reason. Um, but I do have training on how to fundraise, raise raise working missions work for a while. So how to talk to the, the different local places and get them built up, get get support structure, are all things I have done before and can do again. Yeah. And Aiden. Right. Uh, so I don't actually have much experience in terms of large scale fundraising. Uh, my strengths actually rely in my media connections. I've been working as a freelance photographer for close to a decade now. Uh, and I went to school in Georgia. And so a lot of my contacts are still in the Southeast. So one of the things that I bring to the table in terms of organization and fundraising is a wide variety of media contacts that we can use to promote the sports and the tournaments that happen in our region. All right. Okay. So uh, that pretty much covers it as far as the questions we publicly posted um, that you guys could prepare for. Granted, I've reworded them since uh, they were asked because after seeing yesterday's interviews, you know, we need a, a little bit more specific. I've learned. 
Um, so here are a couple questions that are going to be kind of off the cuff. Um, so in the Marine Corps, we have something called God Corps Country, um, which as an atheist is kind of weird, but it was a saying that basically shows that you are a Marine before you're an American, right? Like that was our priority, you know, you got your priority to God, your country, your core, and your country, right? So uh, basically what we're asking is, as far as the sport is concerned, uh, if you had to label off your priorities, uh, sport as a whole, doesn't matter who wins, doesn't matter what leagues, if it's good for the sport, it's good for us. H and BIA, we're trying to, you know, H and BIA has like a significant, you know, place in your life and that's what you want above anything else that could be your priority if you're very into a local area if promoting your local area and being on a local team is top priority just kind of where are your current priorities as far as national organizational or local uh, Aiden if that makes sense yeah yeah it does uh, my first priority is going to be to this sport uh, it's been my goal for a really long time to make sure that as a league and like as a nation we're coming together because there are relatively few of us and especially there's very few of us women running around uh, that we get together on a national scale and so the sport as a whole has been a real focus for me uh, and to be honest my first introduction to HMB was kind of at last year's Dragon Con and then I've just been kind of like tiptoeing my way into the organization and uh, while that provides some benefits it also is a negative and that it hasn't really been a priority in my fighting career uh, so I would say next is probably my local region, getting teams started. Uh, we had a local Houston chapter startup uh, just a few months ago, and now we're looking at possibly trying to get a team in Austin and um, making sure that as we find individual fighters across the region that we're trying to form clubs around them uh, is my next priority. And then the third priority would definitely be HMB as a goal, and I think that that kind of like fluctuates between two and three. Uh, depending on like what's going on. All right, Mr. Kirk. Yeah, so I think you finally found the thing where we stand a little bit apart. Um, <laughs> completely, yeah, completely flip that, and you have the system that I, I'm, I'm thinking about. Like, I didn't run for the AMCF spots because HMB was the part that I've been a part of, founded myself in. That's all my first fights were there. Um, and I want to see that grow here because I think it works. I think it's a great system. And all across the world, I'm seeing awesome stuff that I think we can do here. We're so close. So that's that's first. And then local because, I mean, everybody needs to be focusing local or we're never going to grow national. Um, so local a second because I want to see these different teams pop up, whether it be right around me or whether it be the crew in in um, Georgia standing on their own, North Carolina, South Carolina, all the separate entities rather than us being a big conglomerate from all these different states showing up to fight as one team when there's enough of us or we should be able to be five different teams. Um, and then, of course, the sport as a whole, I do enjoy fighting across this, the different ones, but it has not been a part of focus for me actually the i ended up at the acs nationals kind of on accident i went to support another fighter and they said people drop can you fight and i didn't even have my armor with me they suited me up and i fought like that like it wasn't i didn't go there to fight i just ended up fighting because why not it's an opportunity that i have but um yeah that that's my focus i want to join this board because i want to see the hmb grow and Okay. Now, of course, this is a this is an election. Uh, you know, not everybody can win. One of you will lose. Um, should you be on the losing side, uh, would you still be willing to volunteer for other positions on the board? Um, you know, we have we will be tasking out different task forces, different task forces um, to do things like handling social media, uh, you know, revamping our website creating more web content, maybe uh, different ways of communicating across off of Facebook, you know, uh, event planners. And you know, we have a ton of different aspects of the sport that, you know, we're going to be basically divvying out tasks to, and we need a lot of volunteers and people like that. So the question is, is 
if you do not win this position, are you still willing to be involved in the HB USA organization? Are you still willing to volunteer? If so, what specific area would you be interested in volunteering your skills to a specific area? What would that be? Uh, Kirk? Yeah, um, I'm absolutely willing to help um, regardless of, of, you know, what happens. Um, as far as specific spot, I've always been a where do you need me person. So um, if it's within capabilities, I am more than happy to do it. Um, pretend, pretend we don't know you at all, right? Say, say yeah. Mary and you aren't buddies and we, none of us know you. Uh, like you're, you're, you're talking to people that don't know you that you're trying to get to vote for you. What skill are you gonna, I'm gonna do this for you if you have it. Like, I'm the best at this. I'm the shit. Like, I can do this. Again, it's not as much about being the best at something, because honestly, I don't necessarily think I am the best person for any particular job. Um, it is the fact that I am willing to give everything to whatever particular job I have. And whatever I don't know or don't know well, I learn and I grow and I can figure it out. All right. Swiss Army knife, Kenny. Yeah, it works. All right, Miss Aiden. Right on. Uh, so this actually solves one of my problems because I was like, oh no, if I lose, how do I, how do I keep helping? Because uh, we don't really have a whole lot of HMB contacts in Texas right now. Uh, and knowing that you guys will be opening up opportunities for volunteerism actually rocks because I still want to help out. Uh, and specifically, I really like to help out, and I have expertise in photography, videography, and marketing, both like internet marketing and also social media. Uh, I already run a couple of social media accounts for some businesses, uh, and I feel like between those three things, I can definitely help you guys out in those areas. All right, brilliant. Okay, now uh, that's pretty much all the written and uh, unwritten questions that have come up lately. Uh, this goes a lot faster because there's only two of you. So um, we're gonna end it with this where uh, just kind of give a closing statement, a little blurb about yourself, pitch yourself, because like I said, these videos are intended for people that don't know you. Um, so give a little pitch, give a little blurb, think very you know, politi pol politician at this point. But yeah, sell yourself and just a little blurb and I won't end with that. So Aiden, if you'll go first. Okay. Um so most people with HMB aren't familiar with me. Uh, and unfortunately, that's, that sucks. Uh, but I have had the opportunity to meet a lot of really cool HMB uh, fighters, both at local tournaments and tournaments that I've attended nationally. And they're the ones who've sparked my interest in this sport. Uh, and they're the ones that have kind of driven me toward HMB as a, as a league. Uh, and I think that the camaraderie that happens in HMB is really, really unique. Uh, and I would really love to further that even more. Uh, and I think that when you get me as a representative, you get that openness and that willingness to learn. Plus you get a whole heck of a lot of business skills in order to make our region shine, both through HMB and as a sport as a whole. Brilliant. Mr. Kirk, finish us off. All right. Um, well, Again, kind of uh, the opposite here. Most of you who are actually going to vote have met me at some point or other, whether it be in person or online social media because I've been a presence all over the place. Um, you know the drive. You know that on the field, it doesn't matter what I stand against. I'm not going to just take a knee. I'm going until I'm put out. And it's the same thing when I work. It's the same thing when I drive to grow something is I'm going to keep plugging forward. I'm going to keep working and I'm going to get results, you know, eventually I'm stuttering now. So forgive me there, but um, I have that passion and I have the time. And with those two things, you can get almost anything done. All right. Great. Um, I actually just had an idea because we do have five or six people in the chat just uh, watching live. Um, if any of you guys want to type a question, I mean, we're, we're, we're essentially done. Formally, we're done. If you have somewhere else to be, go be there. Um, but if you guys have a little bit of extra time, 
um, you know, Ken, Gaines, David, Andrew, if any of you guys have specific questions since you guys chimed in live, you know, if you guys are willing to ask or answer those, I'm cool to sit by for a few minutes for anyone listening. But if not, you know, that's basically it. You guys did great. You know, those are some phenomenal questions. Um, you know, look forward to working with one of you and both of you should, you know, however the, the future plans up, I think the rest of the board would as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't see anything in the chat and it doesn't look like anybody's unmuting. So <laughs> maybe the first thing to like a question is getting unmuted. Um, unless can they not get unmuted? Do I have to do that? You can't unmute someone else. Okay. Well, I guess I can't. Mr. Dan, oh, no, I guess he unmuted himself. All right. Well, yeah, in the chat, he, he posted, he said, thanks for making this decision so damn difficult. And it is our pleasure. Yeah, it's really hard to try to come up with questions that divide people of the same sport. Like, hey, do you like wearing suits of armor and hitting people and then getting blatantly drunk afterwards? Cool. You probably get along with all of us. Like, <laughs> it's really hard to come up with, like, how are you different than that person when the reason we're here is because we're someone like. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I'm going to call it there. Thank you very much, uh, Aiden. Thank you very much, Kirk. You guys did a phenomenal job. And, uh, you know, make sure everybody's registered. Make sure everyone's voting. And we'll let you know as soon as uh, we have something. Awesome. Thank you, Brad. All right. Thank you very much, guys. All right. Bye. All right. And stop recording. Stop recording. <laughs>